The Kyle Police Department is noticing a trend in its fentanyl investigations. Teens and young adults are both the victims and distributors. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Daniel Marine. Now this comes after a teenager was arrested for his involvement in the fatal overdose of a 14 year old Hayes CISD student earlier this year. KXN's Sarah Alshash shares why police say the dealers are getting younger and younger. Teenagers. Kyle Police Chief Jeff Barnett says they are both the distributors and victims in fentanyl overdoses in Hayes County. We are seeing young people as, as young as 14 uh, to the young adult age of 18, 19 be part of the distribution ring. The most recent arrest involved 18 year old Juvenal Flores Sanchez. A joint operation with the Kyle Police Department and the San Marcos Police Department recently resulted in the arrest of an 18 year old who knowingly sold fentanyl related products to uh, teenagers in our area. According to an affidavit, a 14 year old student went to Evo Entertainment in Kyle on January 2nd. Court documents say once there, social media messages show the teenager met with Sanchez to purchase drugs. The next day, the student died from a fentanyl overdose. Chief Barnett says drug dealers are using teens to help distribute these lethal drugs because of their connections. Their classmates or former classmates so they're selling to a younger generation and perhaps these are people that they knew from school or they've seen from other sporting events. Since starting fentanyl investigations last summer, Chief Barnett says three people, including Sanchez, have been arrested, all of them under the age of 21. And with spring break around the corner, he wants to remind parents to have a plan for their teens who may be home alone. If they tell you they're going to go spend time with friends, invest the time and effort to know who those friends are. Check on them regular, regular throughout the day. You know, make sure you're making contact with them, you're hearing back from them. Sarah all Shah, KXAN News. And Sanchez was charged with the delivery of a controlled substance and the manufacturer and delivery of a controlled substance. According to Hayes County Jail Records, he was released the day after he was arrested. KXAN reached out to the Hayes County DA's office to see if he could face any additional charges, but we have not yet heard back. And it's not just a local problem. In North Texas, police in Carrollton say drug dealers in their 20s are selling fentanyl laced pills to students. They recently arrested three people that police say were the main source of supply of fentanyl in overdose cases in schools there. Investigators say the overdoses happened over a six-month period and involved students ages 13 to 17.